So I managed to get a hold of one of the brand new NV Prodigy X Complete Scooters. It's one of the very first ones that we have here in America. We are just about to get them over at Scooter Zone. So if you guys want to grab one, go to www.thescooterzone.com. But tonight is going to be the very first session that I have on this scooter at the skate park. We're over here at AMR Skate Park. And I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about the new things that you can see on the new NV Prodigy X. We actually haven't been over here at AMR in a little while. I have to be over here. It's getting to that point where it's winter months. It's not late at all. And it's freaking dark and I absolutely hate it. If I could cuss on this channel right now, I would. The Prodigy X is officially here at the skate park. I haven't ridden the Prodigy X on the channel yet. I have ridden it just for a little bit of time while we were filming a bunch of videos for it up in Oregon. But this is the very first view of the brand new Prodigy X. You things are very, very different on the scooter nowadays. I'm not gonna give you guys like every single little detail about this scooter, but I'm gonna give you a few of the quick little things that you guys are gonna see for this year's Prodigy. Let's we'll start with the deck. The deck is what everybody kind of notices right now. Okay, first of all, it's, it's a wider deck. So we're at five wide by 19 and a half inches long so that's really really sick because a lot of people are going to a wider deck nowadays the street prodigy has uh box ends and it's 5.5 so we're gonna test that scooter uh in another video this is the prodigy park version we got the burnt pipe version right now as for the front edge of the deck you guys can see we got uh another fat cutout right here it takes a ton of the weight out of this scooter there's spider webs in it because it's been sitting in my garage what envy focused on this year was strictly just making this scooter lighter because a lot of you guys that rode the Prodigy previously were not huge fans of the weight. Not that the, the last scooter was really heavy by any means, right? Like it wasn't a heavy scooter at all. It was destined to be the best scooter ever and it is the best scooter for the money on the market today. It's the most popular scooter on the market today and it deserves to be super, super lightweight. So that's what they focused on this year. They also took a little bit of the weight out of the front edge of the deck. So not as much meat right here because this was kind of unnecessary. Still have IHC compression, a new Z clamp is what they're calling this. So it's a, uh, the Z clamp clip comes from this little section right here a little z formation right here with a uh, full cutout front edge of the clamp this is an oversized clamp right now you guys can get a shim and make it to where it's a standard clamp but as of right now it comes stock as an oversized because the bars are aluminum the wheels also got a little bit bigger so this is a new wheel i am drawing a blank right now as to what it's called and i will put the words oh it's sector i think it's sector sector wheels that's what i'm going with 120 by 26 and a brand new design for the core a back nine bearings in here so these things are still rolling really nicely i am currently riding the deluxe wheels oh very very nice wheels um i've ridden these for quite a while pretty much ever since they released these wheels i like the matte urethane very very nice wheel so we basically have the exact same urethane with a different core super super lightweight as well like i said and focused on that lightweight thing they nailed it absolutely nailed it another new feature of the scoot you guys can see it's a little bit different than what you're used to seeing is this headset cat it's not the conventional cat that you guys are used to seeing uh <laughs> Can I see your scooter really quick? You guys, this is Jacob. Jacob is letting us use his scooter right Hi. now. This is a conventional headset cap. This is the Prodigy X. This one is a headset cap and to, to utilize uh, the compression, you need a snap ring. This one is both of those in one. So you're basically taking one piece out. For all of you dads out there that absolutely hate working on your kid's scooter and you bring it to us over at Scooter Zone because you're smart, you won't have to worry about really fixing the compression or like kind of having to work with a billion different little tiny parts. You're mainly gonna have one part. As long as you don't put the headset bearings in upside down, you're good. Thank you, good sir. I appreciate it. He made it in the vlog. The brake is not much different. It is basically the same, but they made it a little bit lighter. Like I said, focus on lightweight stuff. So with all that being said, the new Prodigy X has yet to be ridden on this channel at a skate park or in general at all. So today we're going to ride it. I got to warm up on my scooter really quick and then we're going to get on the Prodigy X and see how it rides. So I just realized I forgot my gloves, so we don't have gloves tonight, but if you guys need to get gloves, www.ravenwater.com. We are working on some new ones, so be on the lookout for those. But I have my scooter out right now. Um, I'm just gonna get a quick warm-up line. What do I do? Flip. Oh, she just wants me to do a flip. Drop it in. We're gonna start with a quick little bar in. We'll do our wall ride. We'll do just a quick fry flip. Up, a lip, a little salad stall. We'll do our flare right here. Flip slide, go around. Turn into a sugar cane somehow, but we'll take it. Bar Manny, hold it. Oh, I almost did not make that in. I haven't been riding for the last couple of days because I jacked my back up and I uh, damn near broke my foot. Do that thing you did earlier right there. What? The flare? I'm doing another flare. Like that? Yeah. I'm just a circus clown this does flips i should just go to the circus and see if they want to pay me all right i won't ride the bull a lot because you guys have seen us ride this bull a million times 
So, uh, I likes that one. I likes that one. Can I get a photo with you? You want to do it right now? Yes. Yeah, let's do it, bro. We're taking pictures. No worries, man. All right, we're following our, our squad. Oh, he's just hitting the set right now. All right, well, since we're doing tricks on the way, might as well do a little look back on this puppy. Just a little t bog since we're all, Oh, they're doing the whips right now. Dang it. Okay, I'm out of the loop. I thought we were doing them on the way back this way. My bad. Leave it to the older scooter kid to screw everything up. That's me, guys. This is just this, the best session I've had in a month. I'm going to give him a little bit of room just in case on this one. I'm going to do the, the triple. <laughs> I feel like right now I'm as warm as I'm gonna get. So let's jump on the Prodigy X for the first time. See how it feels. All right, wow. Okay, the amount of concave that this has. Kind of like that. Dang! Started off, we'll just do the exact same line we did earlier for Ken's. Wall ride, straight to a bri. And up on the hip. I think we did just a stall right here and then we just flare. First impressions though, I mean it's short. That's, that's the one thing, it is short, right? Like I'm, I'm six foot one, I don't ride 24 and a half inch tall bars. A world of a difference for sure. Just that, that, that deck weight is just simply undeniable. It is unbelievably light. All right, I'm not gonna get too excited too quick. We do have a cutout on the bottom. We still have a flat bottom deck. Um, so I do wanna get a couple grinds on this thing. Let's do our, our, our front lip around the corner here and see if I can get that one first try. What the heck is that? That is one hell of a cricket. Go, Jiminy, go. I have no idea how this thing grinds. I need to do like a little tiny feeble. Oh, it's, oh gosh. Okay, well, I'm not sure if this is sticky or not. So I gotta get some speed here. Oh, it's sticky. It's sticky. Let's try that again. <laughs> it's still. <laughs> you guys can tell I don't grind. It's not my thing. Let's cruise back over towards that A-frame and see if we can mess around on that for a little bit. All right, triple whip. Oh, the deck is just way lighter than mine. <laughs> it's like tilting a pandemonium, but wider, which is kind of nice. Although these bars are just so short. They're short on your boy. Prodigy is not meant for people like me. If you're anywhere near six foot, you're in the street. There we go. That was better. A little heel up. Over crook. Oh yeah, I forgot about that part. The actual head tube, this, this section is a little bit different, right? So you have more room to nose butt and you have more foot space, which is super sick. I feel like of any Prodigy that's ever been made by Envy, this is the one that kind of hit all the bullet points that just kind of needed to be hit. Not to say that the S9 was a bad scooter at all. Like it was definitely a great scooter and it still is. They're uh, just a little bit cheaper now, which is great. This just is a little bit lighter. Like, so if you guys like an S9, you want one that's just slightly lighter and maybe a little tiny bit bigger. I like smaller scooter decks, but this feels comfortable because it's not like huge. It's not like riding a 622, which makes me sound like a wuss because that's not a huge deck by any means nowadays. But this is a scooter that I could honestly say, like, I, I don't ever lie to you guys on this channel. Like I don't, I don't tell you guys things are good when they're not, I swear. I know a lot of people kind of probably don't believe me on that, but it's true. If something is, is not good, I, I tell you guys, regardless of it's whether it's Envy or, or any brand of mine like that I, that I do anything with, like I'm not going to lie to you guys. Can you quad with? Yeah. What do you want me to do it? Like out of this? My boy Jacob wants us to do a quad and I haven't quad with this thing yet. Oh, it was sketch, but I landed it. Can you bri? Man, you so, I'm just like taking orders right now, huh? Or, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Do you want me to do it like 180 or what? Oh, we're about to go. On you about to leave? That, yeah. Thank oh, you. shoot. So I don't do a bri then? 360 bri. Man, I don't know if I'm gonna land it first try, but I'll try it. Oh, I did land it. Cool, I'll take it. All right, so far this this thing's been phenomenal. I really like these wheels. The scooter's just so light. It's like oddly light. I'm, I'm not used to riding a scooter that feels like that. Again, it's just a little short for me. It's not a scooter somebody my height would go in and ask for. It's, it's, just, it's just simply too short, but I think the street bars are 28 and a half tall or something like that because it comes with SES now, so that's an option. All right, I'd like to hit the ball cap a couple times if I can weasel my way in there. Yeah, but they're just riding the board now. I'm see if I can sneak sneak one in. Oh man, these wheels, dude. My, the scooter's just so quiet right now. So freaking quiet. I am not used to that. My scooters are always super loud because I like when they are, I guess. Or it's because I eat too many chicken sandwiches and I break bearings. I mean, that happens too. How about a front scooter flip? I haven't front scooted this yet. 
Oh God, <laughs> those short bars make that so different. Let me try that again. Oh my God, almost just fell into the abyss. Let's try that front scooter flip again. Oh my gosh, that felt so good. Holy crap, that came around so much. I need to do that again. That came around so much faster than my scooter. That was uh, oddly impressive. You guys know I can catch front scooter flips really well. That's like one of the tricks that I am definitely uh, doing constantly. But that one just felt different. It might be because the bars are much shorter. Like that's definitely a possibility, but it just felt like snappy. Oh my gosh, like it comes around so nice. Got one more. <laughs> I gotta do one more. It comes around so fast. I feel like it's the deck, but maybe it's, it's it maybe it's in my mind a little bit. I don't think like that that like difference in the bars makes that much of a difference when it comes to a front scoot. I mean, it does. Not as drastic of a difference. Maybe it's a combination of the two. That's probably what it is. It's a combination of a smaller bar and a much lighter deck. Um, but this is like impressively, impressively snappy. For those of you guys that do a lot of scooter flips, uh, this is definitely a great deck for you to get. Gosh, it's so, it's so fast. That's impressive. That's wild. A little mind. Whoa, that was, that was so scary. Yeah, he, he was like, you don't like scooter riders, huh? He's just like, <laughs> I, I, that was like mind boggling of a front scooter flip. Okay, well, I mean, we've, we've gotten a decent amount of riding in on this thing. We've gotten a decent amount of riding on my scooter so far. Of course, I'm used to my scooter. I rode that tonight as well. And I gotta say, as much as I absolutely adore the look of my deck and the graphic, of course, is much better because I designed it. As much as I love that scooter, I gotta say, I really, really enjoyed riding this deck. Like, I think I had more fun on this scooter because of the weight. Uh, the AOC 5 is a great deck. Um, it's, it's been around for a long time and it's clearly a really dependable scooter. It's a great scooter deck. It's one of the best in the market. But I just, this, this thing's lightweight and I just had so much fun riding this thing. So if you guys want to grab one of these scooters, do not forget, go over to www.thescooterzone.com, grab your scooter. We just launched these things, like I said. We got five different colors in the Prodigy X Park and we have three different colors in the Prodigy X Street. So if you guys want to check them out, you should because they're incredible and I swear if you guys ride scooters and you like doing scooter flips and you want to learn like new beginner scooter tricks or if you're an amateur or scooter rider and you're learning a bunch of great new tricks in the air you won't regret it thank you guys so much for watching today's video huge thanks to Envy as always for being an incredible sponsor and always uh, supporting the channel thank you guys for the support and I'm, again this, I, this is my first video back on YouTube or my second video I should say and I'm so happy I'm here love you guys see you soon